Kevin, have you heard? No. Today's episode is sponsored by Iris. Oh, it is. Oh, oh wow. The brand new beauty app that feels tailor-made for the beautiful and bothered community. You know that feeling? Which one? <gasps> when you buy a new beauty product based on glowing reviews only to figure out they lied. <laughs> I should have known when I seen that incentivized post. As you'll see on today's episode, finding honest beauty reviews that aren't incentivized has become incredibly difficult. That's why Iris is giving back the beauty influence to real people like you. On Iris, you can read and write 100% non-incentivized product reviews and connect with an unfiltered community of everyday beauty lovers. You can even personalize your beauty profile based on your needs to better understand which reviewed products work best for you and connect with users with similar preferences. We love to see it. You can even earn free products just by engaging with the app. The more you contribute, the more you're rewarded. Iris has a feature called Drops. By contributing honest, detailed reviews and participating in discussions, you earn gems used to claim free product giveaways, often selected by the community itself. With no strings attached, girly pops. And we're talking legit beauty brands you know and love, like Rare Beauty, House Labs, Dyson, Summer Fridays, and so many more. This is Iris's way of thanking you for being an active part of the community. So if you get that suspicious feeling after seeing an Allure Best in Beauty Award winner, you can head over to Iris to double check if it is actually worth it by reading the non-incentivized reviews from real beauty lovers like you. You can look at swatches from real consumers to get a better understanding how the product looks and feels and utilize those community spaces, fam, because there is nothing better than getting to ask fellow Iris users what they think about a product you have your eye on. So download Iris today. Where is it available? It is available in the App Store for iPhone users in the US and Canada. Don't hesitate to raise your unfiltered voice and join the community of genuine beauty lovers on Iris. Where honesty is the only incentive. This really is the gladiator fight to the death. The reader's choice? I question the readers. <laughs> Where is this mysterious ballad? Who's rigging the election over here? <laughs> Isn't it fascinating? Wow! I know, girl. Okay, y'all are just real ones for this. I know. You guys are better educated than people that work at Allure. Now we're moving on to setting powder. Allure what? didn't have Allure. Oh. <laughs> I'm what? <laughs> This has never graced my face. Oh. Actually, I should say my face has never graced <laughs> this. The Benefit Cookie Highlighter. She tea. eats. <laughs> she she eats. Tea. Okay. Oh, <laughs> not that. Oh my God. My eyes. I hate when I wear a shirt like this because I get a bronze down to my nipples. <laughs> When do you not? This V cut, I mean. No, when do you not bronze to your nipples? Oh, oh, uh, with makeup or with self tanner? Both. Self tanner, I always at least do to the nips. Makeup, oh god, I mean, if I'm wearing like not a V cut, I just do it down my neck. Oh, but okay. like this, this was a white triangle compared to my face, so I had to go all the way Love. bronzer down to here. Um, Calling all the monsters. bronzers. <laughs> <gasps> Bronzers. <gasps> oh my God. We were, uh, before we started recording the Halloween playlist I made, I sent it to so you. Good. I posted it on Instagram and I'm going to, uh, I'll put it in the description of everything for this week's episode. Yeah. I'm probably the most excited this sh for this year's Halloween than I've been in a long time. Last year we moved in two days before Halloween, so it wasn't a thing. But now having, yeah. a, how having a home, I'm like, I need to have a Halloween party. This was the first Halloween that I was not excited for. Really? And Halloween is like... Your tea. This is like my every holiday can step aside. <laughs> yeah. Compared to Halloween where I just like, I don't know what it was this year. I was yeah. so unmotivated. And yeah. I just like, normally my costume is set <sighs> in January, February. I already know yes. what I'm doing. It is already done by <laughs> August. Yeah. And I'm not kidding. Yeah. And then no, like this year, not. I was like, oh yeah, no, I'm just like not into it. Yeah. Where like when you said you were going to do a Halloween party, I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm in. Well, yeah. that's why I feel like Halloween gets less exciting as you get older because like no one really does anything. Yeah. Come and like on. the people that do it, it's just like, oh. I'll do it. But like, and they do it right. That's what I mean, girl. Don't but have then, a Halloween party unless you're going to like, I want to be transformed for into a different world it yes and like they like i'm talking tvs yes turning on all the same time in the house all the lights in the house shut off at the same time yes theatrics fog machines production it is drama it is 
<laughs> crazy. Yes. It is like you're stepping into another world of a haunted house. Like, yes. it is different, mama. Girl. And I don't want to go in the bathroom and it be <laughs> home and garden. I want it to be every inch of this motherfucker that I'm supposed Girl, to step in yes. is an experience. Totally. I want uh, not home yeah. goods. I want home bags. Every light bulb is changed yes. to look like the flickering flame. Fog I said, machines. And, oh, girl, I know. I love it. I want to go. And that's so playing around with this past week being like, okay, I'm going to do this. I was like, I Halloween music is like either <laughs> spooky scary like yeah monster mush if i never hear that again so i was like i want to make a dirty sexy party halloween dark pop playlist mama i ate and it is like a hundred it's yeah. so good he ate my heart <laughs> oh literally that's on there um <laughs> i'm sure it is and i'm gonna listen to this play but i discovered so many new people because i really sat down and like went down a rabbit hole of have you heard uh, slater's version of monster Mon uh, who S Slater no. with like Monster three Ys by Gaga by Gaga no good okay I gotta check it out I, yeah yeah she's good she's good all right well uh hello everybody welcome back to hello. another episode of Beautiful and Bothered we're closing out the Allure season <laughs> closing out the Allure series this year which we've never done this we started by saying oh well, let's like look at the Reader's Choice Awards there isn't that many so of course <laughs> of course. And then we got the idea where I was like, we can compare it to you guys, our audiences, listeners, viewers, favorites in that category. So this snowballed and I made a Google uh, sheet uh, survey, if you will. I posted it on Patreon and I posted it on YouTube, the YouTube channel, and asked you guys to submit your like if you could pick our choice award for the People's Choice Awards for your favorite in that category, what would it be? Um, two days, hundreds of responses, near 400 responses. So then I discovered last night, it very quickly turned into, oh, I have to sift through hundreds of submissions in 19 categories. <laughs> and long story short, God bless Casey, helped me go through it and sort it. But on today's episode, <laughs> we are going to show the Allure winner, the newly coined Beautiful and Bothered Listener Choice Award winner after and then i went through the data i had charts i had spreadsheets because i was like some of the winners were only beat by a narrow margin so i was like it was so fascinating and i was telling you this before when you got here it is so fascinating to see your guys's picks in every category in that amount of data that i was looking at last night it was so interesting and i was like you guys i know are going to be just as interested by it so then the third slide will be the top five from you guys in every single category. So this really is like the Beautiful and Bothered Listener's Choice Awards competing Love. with the Reader's Choice Awards. And the Beautiful and Bothered audience will be reading the dolls <laughs> <laughs> because some of the Allure winners are, yeah. I am so excited for you guys to see this episode and you see this because you haven't seen any of the data, no. the data. And it's so, you're going to be just as like, I wonder if you get the feeling I got when I was going through it. So Data or data? Without a Luna Bar data, with a Luna Bar data. <laughs> depends. <laughs> depends, girl. It depends if I'm feeling like a ma'am. Ma'am, you have the data? <laughs> Mr. Donaghy, do you have the factory worker death rates? <laughs> do you remember that from 30 Rocks? And then you take your reward. You take your reward. <laughs> So uh, some of the categories I picked, because for you guys, I really wanted you guys to submit across everything. Allure was missing some things. Okay. So if there was duplicates, they had a clean category and there was like four things in it. I'm not kidding you. In this Raiders Choice Awards, it was like two things, one winner. Per it was so bare bones. So we are starting with primer, but there is a moisturizer in the regular Allure category. So I, anything that they didn't have, I filled it in with a clean that kind just to, I get, what you're to get the clean there, you know what I okay. mean? Opposed to two moisturizers in that section. So we're technically doing primer, but we have, we're throwing in the Allure Reader's Choice. The best clean facial moisturizer is the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. This one, who would play her? I, mean, I know the Proteiny. I know the heavy one. What's this one? This one's right in the middle. Oh, okay. So Bora Barrier, the orangey salmon colored is heavy. the thickest, uh, more repairing for the moisture barrier. This is very 
like step down from that and very okay. soothing still. Very nice. nice. I like her. Yeah. This is one of my faves. Nice. Yeah. So I figured I was like, okay, wow. good for them. Nice. Diving into the first beautiful and bothered <laughs> readers, uh, listeners choice award. We Pose. have Pose. The best primer goes to the one size Oil Sucker Extreme Mattifying Primer. And let me tell you, there are so many beautiful and bothered winners that I was like, these were our people. Like, and it was like, really, I'm so excited for you to dive into all these. And I mean, the fact that this just came out, I was so shocked yeah. that this climbed to number one. But I think that's the thing. I don't know. Maybe and maybe it's a symptom of like us always trying to cut through the noise of like, hey, guys, we know there have been nine 97 primer launches in the past six months but this new one came out and this one actually works so in a short amount of time the fact that you guys have like gone out adopted this tried it and it was like your submission was crazy wow. to me because i agree as having oily skin this will be the only primer i ever use again in my life it's not surprising yeah. but uh that now let's dive into the top five you want to read wow, it? Wow. Okay. So uh, number one is tie. Oh, so number one, we have a tie for the oil sucker and the elf power grip. Okay. So oopsies wow. on me. I forgot to include it in the image. So <laughs> I was like, oh, put it on the Ritz. <laughs> number two, we have the iconic London underglow blurring primer. Yes. N amazing. Number three is the NYX plump right back plumping primer. And number four is the elf liquid poreless putty primer. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking that the whole time I was making this list. I'm like, I wonder how much Kevin is going to read our audience. <laughs> I just, you know what? For number four, the liquid yeah. poreless putty primer. Yeah. If it works for you, I'm happy for That's you. That's the thing, man. Kudos. If it works, it Cheers works. to you. Yeah. It, it was horrible. It was a horror Disgusting. show. Disgusting. Do you know what fucking unreleased in my Halloween journey of building that playlist? I remembered an unreleased song from Gaga. I would, would be my number one choice. Rock show. Never heard it. <gasps> You've never heard rock show? No. It could have been love. It could have been anybody. You're going to die. Go Listen after this. Rock show. Wow. Lady Gaga unreleased. Unbelievable. Wow. Um, no, I totally agree with you. And I will say, even if there was something that I was like, okay, I would never use that. It, I'm happy it works for you guys. But I was really floored as well by the iconic London, the underglow. I and do love that. The that Knicks underglow. Plump right uh plumping that's a fierce one that's really no no primers more of like a all-in-one i think you need i think you need to have you can have some skin concerns but they all need to be not debilitating mild my they all need to be mild as if that was a hard word for me to think of that this all-in-one primer would work for you i don't mm -hmm. think that it's not going to be if you have a strong concern like oil i think the power grip the oil sucker the um underglow those are more tailored for you yeah. where the nyx is like an all-in-one but yeah yeah girl love this wow it's, yeah very cool all right <laughs> and then we have the readers allure readers choice foundation of 2024 is the airbrush flawless foundation that they're <laughs> reformulating <gasps> girl because it's not good enough and then when that comes out <laughs> it's it'll all of a sudden one. gonna be <laughs> yeah. a, another award winner it'll be on the main allure winners it is yes. because they're gonna reformulate girl. and they're fixing the shade range and they're doing all this and making <laughs> yeah. that and doing this this but was i bought I love this that. i got influenced and i bought this when i was still doing bridal makeup and i used this for bridal makeup and i was like no oh, what in the bare minerals liquid like where when you guys know when you have a foundation that you start to spread and it turns, it actively turns into powder as you do it. And you're like, oh, okay, it, we're giving dry. Like it was just texture city. I was just, I and I don't know, this could be this. right for someone, but not an award yeah. winner. I liked this. Yeah. When I first tried Charlotte Tilbury, I was like, oh, it's not bad. The end of the day. Eight years ago. You know what I'm the saying? The wear time. The wear um, girl. This? I know. I know. Miss Charlotte. <laughs> 2024 award winner. 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 That's what I mean. This is such an old fan. And it's getting reformulated. So that. They're admitting it needs help. <laughs> so the reader's choice. I question the readers. <laughs> I know. Who were you? Show me the readers. <laughs> Show me the audience. I would love to. I would. I want to shake their hand. Who are Completely. they? So I could take their hand and pull them closer and hey, say, why? And go help them find a new foundation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And grab their hand, walk them into Sephora. I know. And smack their hand when they go for this. I know, girl. It's not. 
It needs to be worked on. I think this has potential to be a great foundation, but it's the shade range and the wear and the texture. So everything fundamentally <laughs> about the fucking foundation is not good. That's what I mean, girl. It's just, I, I it, it was, it, you're right. It was the wear and it was like the way it looked on texture on the skin was concrete. It was so dry. So like, what is it? Yeah, what, what about this is successful? Quickly. Quickly. <laughs> So let's so, go into the Beautiful and Bothered <laughs> Listener Choice Award. Can wow. you the about, about face. face? Wow, the performer found Listen, I agree wholeheartedly with this. I think and this is incredible. This one by a lot. Like this was this was a blood bath. A blood bath. A bird a bloody <laughs> bird bath. <laughs> this was a blood bath of like this was like 50 higher than second place. <gasps> wow. Yeah. This is uh, really deserving. And isn't that a isn't that the gag? Like, that's what I mean, everybody. Like, because I know there's people out there that are going to be like, <laughs> you know, like the Charlotte. Like, I wear Charlotte. I love it. This will do what that Charlotte's doing on you, but without the problems Charlotte's causing. So it's just. And skincare ingredients, which Charlotte claims. So much better for your skin. So much better. And like the wear and the, oh. you could build this up. And this is great for mature skin, oily skin, dry, dry skin. skin. If you have oily skin, you just need a gripping primer or the yeah. one size primer and this will look phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. it's just I yeah. know girl. Wow. And the fact that I, this they you guys reminded me of this and we loved it so much, but we are almost that's why I'm so excited about this episode cuz I have a lore fatigue this year. I didn't get it last year. I don't know what it was, but maybe because we're both. We're both where our mental states are. It was something about the past two weeks of all the allure winners. I just was, it was fatiguing. And yeah. I like, I forget everything and everyone I ever loved having to look at all them. So I was like, oh yeah, this You're exists. You're like, makeup? Who does makeup need to make Yeah, makeup? and the fact yeah. that this wasn't yeah. anywhere on the allure thing. It is wild. Gag. Because this was, this it, was this year. Yes. And you know what I loved most about this? This went so viral on social media for all the, Opposite reason something normally goes viral on social media. It's because Charlotte Tilbury, Huda Beauty, they have their budget. They send it to all the mean girls on social media. They all say it's it's resurrected their grandmother from the grave. It goes viral. Every other small influencer wants to go buy army pants and flip-flops because she bought army pants and flip-flops. So they run out and buy it like fools, <laughs> say it's amazing. Everybody buys it. And then all two months later, we all discovered it's shit and we've all used it twice. Yeah. This People were almost like, oh, wow, like Halsey about face has complexion. The shade range so big. The bottle's different. Going into their review ready to be skeptical. <laughs> going, this is stunning. That it was organic virality because wow, they liked would, it. That's <laughs> that's a novel idea to have a product go viral because, because it's, it's good. good. <laughs> totally. Wow. So that's why I really give this credit. And the fact that it did all that, it did the heavy lifting and Allure doesn't even know what this is, was just so infuriating. Yeah. So now the top five foundations from For the Beautiful and Bothered Awards. Oh, my God. So it's the About Face is number one. Mm -hmm. Number two is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation, which... Wow. No, oh, I didn't mean that. I meant the next one. <laughs> oh, I was it's still I, good. Not still my good. tea. Yes. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah. Number three is a Dior Forever Matte <laughs> Foundation, which obviously influenced. <laughs> number four is the Super Goop Protectant SPF 50. Girl. And then the uh, NARS Light Reflecting at number five, which. <laughs> Girl, all. this is a spreadsheet of our favorite foundations. These are literally, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not kidding. <gasps> yes. These are all on my vanity right now because Girl. they're in my rotation. Absolutely. House Labs is the only one that I find tricky for my skin. And totally. I'm, I'm dry combo. Yeah. But it, it just not, it like, it just doesn't yeah. work the way I want it to. Yeah. But it's still a great foundation. Um, Wow. And even beyond this, I got to show you, because obviously it would be so hard to include, like, to have included everything, but... I got to show you after this, like I have the spreadsheets of all of the submissions, even the other ones that were like six, seven, eight, not Armani Luminous Silk, uh, the Revlon matte, full cover matte. I think, oh, the Revlon was number six. And oh. then it might've been Armani after that. Wow. It literally is like, you guys trust us so much with complexion recommendations. And the, there was like hundreds of submissions for, wow. it was so cool. That's why I wanted to include these. Cause I was like, the number one wasn't enough, you know? Yeah. It was cool even for you guys to get to see what we all use as like a community. <laughs> like I feel like this is the closest we've gotten to hearing you guys talk to this us directly. This is so cool. I know. <sighs> you know, it's not cool. <laughs> Next is the Allure Reader's Choice winner. Concealer is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Because no, no concealer formula in the past 15 years has topped this. I And I didn't like it back then. I <laughs> Can I confess something? 
you were the only one back when we worked at Sephora together because all the girls we worked with on every makeover and I used it when I still because I was like, okay, like I'm shit. (laughs) They're great. I'll use it. And I was like, there's got to be something better than this. And I never used it. And you were the only other person at the store that agreed with me 10 years ago. Yeah. And I have never, I have never put this on myself. This has never touched my face ever. I've only put this on other people when they have requested doing makeovers and everything at Sephora. Do you know how many we sold? This has never (laughs) graced my face. Actually, I should say my face has never graced (laughs) this. Totally. So I refuse because A, nothing about the formula, packaging, anything about this concealer has changed since (laughs) its inception. No. Yeah. I don't understand what the hype is. It is not good coverage. It creases like no other. It Dry. looks like shit. <laughs> she performs like shit. She's shit. I know. I don't, I don't. I know, girl. What is it about this that keeps I don't winning awards? Because clearly the NARS budget, you're yeah. just, you're pay off the awards. It's almost like. The readers are being paid off. <laughs> you know what this, this to me is a case of, because for me, the reader's choice is more psychological than it is financially incentivized. NARS, this concealer, and we were, we saw, at least you were there longer than me, but in when I worked at Sephora with you was this heyday. It was the best concealer ever made. Ugh. And I feel like there are certain products that are just, we're so we're at a certain point of reliable that people just kept repurchasing and repurchasing and repurchasing and repurchasing and they never it, it does well enough that people don't want to try something new and with something like a concealer that's risky it's not like a lipstick or whatever if you try a new concealer let's say i've used this for 10 years if i want to try a new concealer i'll probably try three others that I don't like before I found something that would be better. And a lot of people don't want to do that. So they just use that better Cyclical, than sex mascara. Yeah. That, that, you know, I've More been buying Mercier it. More powder, NARS this. <laughs> totally. That, NARS blush. That's and what they I mean. just don't get out of that, like. Habit. It's ha- it, This is habit to me. I'll have none of that. <laughs> I'll have none of that. <laughs> get this it? Is, habit? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was funny and you didn't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that'd be funny to say. And you didn't laugh at all. <laughs> now we have the beautiful and bothered listener choice winner. I'm kidding. I I also <laughs> I thought this yeah. was it, and I was about to shame all of I you. I know. I'm sorry. I threw in this is the <laughs> clean concealer winner from Allure, the Ilia Beauty True Skin Serum Concealer. I didn't know this existed. Um, so I don't think this is a bad product. I think it's a bad shade range. Okay, because I haven't tried this. Um, I think it's a great product but the shade range needs to be worked on okay they are so yellow (laughs) and so unforgivable yeah at least nars has vanilla that's pink (sighs) and creme brulee totally but do you remember when they expanded that how fucking annoying that was when we worked there different packaging uh, from that wide box to 2.9 Cuss dude, must dude. Like I was like, I could not, my eye, when you look at the fucking gondola with 1.2, it's 0.0, all the names of like cookie, cooking ingredients, my eyes cross. Cafes in France. And some and of like, them looked identical. And yeah. the tester, it's so generic. And this the shade name on the bottom is so a size one font yeah. <laughs> that someone would come in and I'd be like, what's your shade? I was like, I think this is custard. And it's so small. I was, it would drive me up the wall. I can't. Everyone was custard. Oh, everybody. Everyone custard. Was, it was the medium beige bare minerals. <laughs> Total totally. all. Yeah, absolutely. The beautiful and bothered winner is the NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer. So wow. this was, I mean, I, I love this, and, but I will say we're going to go to the top five really quickly because I'm almost positive this one by one. So it was so close to second place, wow. which was second place was the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. Third place was the Tower 28 Serum Concealer. Number four was the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Concealer. And number five mm, was the Lancome Tanti Dole All Over Concealer, the one with the black top, the one I really like. But NYX and Natasha were basically tied. Wow. Okay. Girl. I love that. I know. So these are the top five beautiful and bothered I got to give Miss Tower 28 a try. Okay. I Let never tried say, her. You all, especially for you and me, like for you to see after this, when it comes 
to the skincare section, these little hoes made me, I was like, what is that? And it made me want to try so much shit. Oh, I'm because excited. Because obviously, let me, I want to also celebrate the people that your submission didn't make the top five in anything because this was more, the way we posed the question really was like, what's the best that works for you? So it makes sense that the, the the more reliable or the more accessible it's going to be is is what's at the top. Mm-hmm. But I mean, these these gals, when we get to the eyeshadow palettes, we're talking specific blend bunny pa- on and on and on. Like y'all have some eclectic taste that maybe didn't make the list. But when I was sorting the data, I was like, add to cart, add to cart. I like I made me want to try so much stuff. Oh, I'm excited. Even that. Yeah, exactly. I was like for Tower 28. We never talk about Tower 28 here. So the fact that y'all this is your third favorite concealer. Where y'all been yelling at us? You know what I mean? That's what this feels like. They probably have been. Yeah, they probably have been. (laughs) So now we're moving on to setting powder, which Allure didn't have. (laughs) I'm what? (laughs) (laughs) You fucking said it like that. What? (laughs) I don't even realize I didn't do it. Wait till you watch that back. Uh, <laughs> Allure didn't have a setting powder, so I included the clean foundation okay. from Allure Reader's Choice in this spot because it is <laughs> the Bare Minerals Original Loose Powder uh, Powder Foundation. <laughs> SPF 15. SPF 50. 15. Ew. 15. Ew. Ew. Oh. <laughs> so it's already gray going on. Just <laughs> girl, what SPF coverage are you getting from this? Ew, stop. The best setting powder. <laughs> what? I what? <laughs> that was so setting good. powder. Over I, liquid. Oh my god. I really girl, thought you meant this was their setting. I was what? You, you can't tell me morticians aren't packing bare minerals powder foundation over, over liquid. Max Factor cream. <laughs> over cryolin A dead sticks. Fucking body. Yeah. <laughs> over cryolin that's the only time it looks right girl can you even no i know girl this is so disgusting who the fuck because girl what reader is choosing (laughs) bare minerals Minerals. loose powder in 2024 please i know please tell me i know because i know the bare minerals girlies i I, (sighs) i've i've been friends with a few (laughs) yes and friends with many that have used to use this (laughs) yes and if you guys just do it had it was definitely a Patreon episode a couple like a month ago or more where I <laughs> Kevin read me because I bought uh, the Bare Minerals Matte Complexion new foundation and another new one at the same time and you were reading me to Phil saying that they weren't new they ended up being, being new, new but yes. I never even tried the Bare Minerals until last week because I forgot I bought it I wore it last week before we started filming oh, Kevin one swipe of that liquid matte Bare Minerals turn to i couldn't even blend it with a brush it was like i was trying to buff pout like con- it turned to powder immediately immediately like it's so all junior girls, girls report to the dumpster gym. immediately yeah girl girl that is disgusting oh, horrible so i put this here because it bare is minerals a powder. needs to go to jail yeah and now we have the beautiful and bothered listener choice award for best setting powders Number one went to the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder and our top five. Okay, so number two is the Kimchi Chic Puff Puff Pass Setting Powder. Very close to Huda, by the way. Okay. Amazing. Which makes me happy. Then the next is the NYX HD Studio <sighs> Finishing Loose Powder, which let me tell you something. These people have been following you for a long I time because I think it speaks volumes. Totally. And then the Givenchy, the Prism Libre <laughs> Setting Powder, the original. <laughs> Let me tell you, every single one of you shady bitches, type this in on the Google form. Original formula. Old, like in the, like old old or original, whatever. And Casey, I didn't realize when he was sorting some of the columns for me, I always take for granted that like we, it's, we speak a second language. We can look at the way 400 people are describing products. Yeah. And I can, and you all, let's say there was... 10 submissions for the same thing, but they were all different, where someone would write kimchi powder, kimchi puff puff pass powder, kimchi translucent powder. Casey does not know how many- It's the same thing. What's what? (laughs) What is what stuff? (laughs) Swish, swish. Swish, bitch. (laughs) You continually, (laughs) as if I was, just was- 
getting more scared. Because <laughs> that is Your scary. face was getting fearful. Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> Ew, girl. What is what? Ew. With the eyeball in her mouth on that album cover? I can't. Pink so- Ferragamo, <laughs> sliders on deck, silly rap beef, just give me more checks. My <laughs> life is a movie. Girl, Nikki... I'm a Nikki Stan. I'm a Nikki Stan. I mean, am I a Nikki fan? Uh, so for Casey to decipher was so funny. Yeah. But he says to me while he's doing this section, he's like, <laughs> old. He goes, what's old Givinky? And I'm like, what? He's like, does old Givinky mean anything? And I'm like, how do you spell it? And I was like, old Givenchy. And I immediately know what you guys were saying, saying old Givenchy. And Casey thought it was old Givenchy. Is That's what I'm going to aspire to be. When I'm yes. 80, I'm going to be an old Givenchy. So the fact that this was number four and every single one of you indicated the old formula, which yeah. was so funny. Which is yeah. iconic. Yeah. And then um, five. Wet and Wild, the photo focus setting powder, which is incredible. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, girl. So no. it was so that's and you're right. There was there is a lot on here, too, that were certain things that are have been so evident that you guys have been following me for as long as you like yeah. from me OG three years ago. So it's so so cool to see all of your guys' favorites. Yeah. And we took hundreds of responses. It was awesome. Wow. Oh my sweet <laughs> God. So for the Allure Reader's Choice Award for bronzer, we have the Benefit Cosmetics Hula Matte Bronzer. Have it. Tell me this is, is not the, the reader's choices have it. I've been buying this for 10 years and I don't want to find it. The one. robotic coming in any NARS concealer, <laughs> Laura powder, hula bronzer, <laughs> NARS orgasm, Too Faced better than sex, steal a liquid liner, please. And tell if me that. Yeah. <laughs> <if we're> lucky. <laughs> tell me that's not what we did. 90% of the time it's for it. People oh my God. Coming in. When people are like, do you have the bronze on the bronze? I'm like, shut up. <laughs> I know what it is. And I'm like, yes. Here. And I'm like, jumbo or regular. Because how many people came yeah. in? They're like, I need a new concealer. I don't know what it. I'm like, NARS Radiant Creamy. I'm like, and right they still here. didn't even know. And then I'm like, point, I think and they would this go, is yeah. it. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, it is. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> I'd shade match and put it in the basket. You ripped out the page of Harper's Bazaar <laughs> and you brought it in crumbled from your purse. Yeah. Yeah. It's NARS. I wish I could do my lashes like that. Can I take a picture of you? <laughs> Click. Bye. <laughs> that was our existence. If we got asked. If we got asked. <laughs> if we're lucky. <laughs> oh man and then the beautiful and bothered listener choice award winner oh wow girl y'all are just on Eaten. it i love this so this is the nyx of buttermelt bronzer yes i love this bronzer yes i love 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 her fully pigment yes charlie's angels fully pigmented <laughs> herbie fully loaded for Lilo. kevin fully loaded yeah <laughs> 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 yeah girl and this then it's so good yeah, the top five i'm so excited to see this okay isn't it fascinating wow. i know girl okay y'all are just real ones for this I know. so number two is the trixie cosmetics the flower power bronzers the powders the powder and then number three is the trixie cosmetics the cream bronzer sticks so. imagine casey sorting this poor thing he was like because he said he was like he was like are these the same because some of you would write like trixie tr- trixie flower Power, Trixie Powder Bronzer, Trixie Cream Bronzer, Trixie Stick. And he's like, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. and I had to be like, stick, cream, flower, powder. Like, take, like I'm literally like. Power powder. Because he doesn't know all this. Yeah. So he was sorting through hundreds of these to help me last night. And he's just it was, like. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like trying to decode yeah. everything. But could you believe that? Trixie. Wow. In splitting second and third place. Yeah. And then Mama. for number four is Makeup by Mario, the Soft Sculpt Skin Enhancer. Mm-hmm. Now, Soft Sculpt Skin Enhancer is in the pot. Right? Is in the, the one that look. It's a compact. And from a distance, it looks like a. Uh, powder powder but yes, it's that it's very cream. creamy i like those, it is a cream but good for dry skin and great for mature skin because yes. it has a little bit of why i love those is it has i just wish he removed the gold shimmer but i think he did good because that was my problem girl it was what i feared the buttermelt bronzer was going to be where the buttermelt any visible sheen is goes away where yeah. the original soft sculpt i was like oh, okay like gold specs yeah. but this it was so creamy but when you blend it out it had a powder dry down yeah so it was but maintained its hydration yeah. that i love yes and then last we have the rare beauty the cream bronzing stick which, which i can't say i agree with <laughs> i can't either and it was good more, for you yes it's and for me the reason i can't agree with it it was more the color for it's me. the colors for red me. 
formula so good and they expanded the shade range and it's still it was just they were me, all too right. red ish yeah but you know what people out there need it that works for undertone people. so yeah. that's you know so work love that for you <laughs> love red and i love red <laughs> And then the Allure Reader's Choice for blush is the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Liquid Blush. The Beautiful and Bothered winner is... Oh, I fucked up. Wait. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> Kim Pinchus. Uh, the Reader's Choice winner is also the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Liquid Blush. Okay. Top five Beautiful and Bothered Listen Choice winners. Rare Beauty. Extremely close. The NYX Buttermilk Blushes right Agreed. underneath. Yes, uh, and those are powder, um, which I will also give you guys the benefit, or I should say, give you guys, um, I did just say, what's your favorite blush? Because we couldn't do cream and powder. It would have been too much yeah. for this. This but was like an experiment. Mix. So uh, we had a mixture of things. I like that yeah. better. Because you're kind of uh, agreed. Because this really is the gladiator fight to the death. Like, I don't care what you're finished. I don't care if you're liquid, cream, powder. Show what me the best of the best. The best. <laughs> yes. yes. Give me the best formulas in every The best thing. blush. Yeah. 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 Like, blushes are blushes are blushes <laughs> are blushes. <laughs> totally. So the NYX uh, Buttermount Blush. <laughs> Third place is the House Labs Color Fuse Powder Blushes. Fourth, the Ravi Beauty Endless Diffusion Baked Blush. Y'all ran, now. went out and got these. Y'all support the Alley lines on I'm this channel. I love her. I'm wearing it I right know. now. I, I know. love them. And uh, fourth place is the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Cream Blush. Do like them too. Which those are great. These are basically, aren't these like the sister version of the, the bronzers. bronzers? Yes. It's basically that formula, but just in bronzers. Love. Wow. Yeah. These are all great. Now I will say, unpopular opinion, I don't love Rare Beauty. Girl, I... Let me put, if I could personally put any one of these on my face right now, that would be my fifth choice. Yeah. That's my thing. I'm kind of getting over it because yeah. I feel like it's just not for me. Yes. And I respect that, but. You know what, in my mind, and I'm half joking, but I feel like I wonder, I wonder if this is, has remained as number one in the zeitgeist for so long because it is so fucking pigmented that people still have the same one they bought 50, from launch day. five years ago and they, and they can't get rid of it because, which is testament to the from product. Launch day. Grace. And I feel like that's why they, like, everyone's still, like, using it. They can't, well, can't like, run out. They're like, it stinks, but I'm still <laughs> using it. <gasps> total yeah yes. yes and honestly it's not even i love the way it wears i love the colors everything it's more maybe because you and i are such at least we are so precious about our complexion our base our primer the way it's going to wear the foundation the concealer everything that when it comes to blush i ain't taking chances of having her fuck up all the work i did before that and just to <laughs> and that's the thing about the rare beauty is it's not that I don't love the formula. I do, I love the yeah. wear. I love the colors. Some days I'm just not emotionally stable enough to take that risk. <laughs> Where that's I need what to, it is. I need to Madonna like a prayer. <laughs> that's what I mean. Because like, I'm not sure sometimes not I'm not in the mood it. to fuck around and find out. And that's rare beauty and for me. And that's sometimes where I, like if I'm we're both of the school of thought of I would rather have a blush that builds. Builds. Exactly. I don't, don't. want to start at 100. No. I, <laughs> like I, got, I need if, foreplay. If, I, if, if I'm yes. going and I go to stamp and I'm like, pull it back. And then I have to tissue it off. And then I'm <laughs> taking off my concealer. And then I'm taking off the foundation. But no. you know what just dawned on me, girl? Tell me that is not a makeup artist thing. Yeah. A makeup, we, when you're a makeup artist, a professional makeup artist for over a decade, we live and die by underdo it, then overdo it. Yeah. Because you have could, to. The, the rare beauty saw pinch liquid blushes. If I was ever doing someone's makeup professionally, this wouldn't even be near my kit because I do not have time for any foolishness. I have some of these in my kit. <gasps> and when I tell you, girl, I had to think about that blush on my hand and it was already covering my full hand in pink. Yeah. That's and what I was I mean. like, it's just too, it's a waste. A makeup artist mentality is to build. Yeah. You can always add, you can't take away. Because the L'Oreal liquid blushes. Yeah, exactly. Expand, oh. expand that shade range because yes. that formula is impeccable. The NARS ones. Oh, that's what I mean, girl. Oh my God. I would rather so underdo it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then we have the Allure Reader's Choice winner for brow gel goes to the Benefit Gimme Brow. 
which mm-hmm. um, they just also put this in the brow category. So I don't know if they necessarily meant clear brow gel, but whatever. <laughs> You're like, who cares? <laughs> who cares? <laughs> because clearly it's not specific enough for you that you put a tinted brow gel into brows without specifying. <laughs> but every other category for Allure is broken <laughs> down by best, best eyeshadow cl- on a Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> best clear brow gel to give you a sculpted look that's a wax, but also a gel with the name that rhymes with Vonastasia Everly Hills. Yes. Like, and then the exact same thing, but clean. Like, like get the fuck out of here. And my lost. thing is, my thing regardless is like, <laughs> just not this the fiber what like this it's such a small brush with the fibers in it that i do like a fiber brow gel but like with that small brush but in the a matter of one? a month the, the fibers one? overtake the it looks like hair it overtakes and the, the wand <laughs> and the wand becomes a a rat tail of just and it's just hair you pull it out it and looks it's like just, a, a brown q-tip yeah after like, a month oh. because the fibers keep building up on that small and then your little real thing. hair comes off <laughs> no like i, the I new there's one so many other tinted brow gels i like better yeah the which one the new one absolutely i forget what the hell it's the called precisely my precisely my, my brow, brow gel. gel i know exactly and that one's not a fiber which i like better because it's think cleaner it oh is it yeah but it's not as Gum. <laughs> it's a gummy. And if on it, but my <laughs> thing with the fiber brow gels nowadays is if I ever was going to reach for a brow gel that had fibers because of what fibers would do, I would just use the milk tubing brow gel. Yeah. Because it's giving you a, the same effect the Building fibers are, but brow. cleaner. Yeah. It's coating the brow thicker rather than putting these snipped pubes. Do you that remember they, <laughs> the Too Faced Lash <laughs> thing that mascara the white fibers you would paint on that would get in your eye Ew. there's gonna yes. be a class action a lawsuit. lawsuit against that if you were someone have you, you used know, vaginal mesh <laughs> yeah to, uh, that 3 a.m commercial have, did loud. you use yeah did you screaming at you like yeah. commercial <laughs> loud <gasps> completely absolutely yeah. <laughs> And the beautiful and bothered listener's choice award for the best brow gel goes to the rare beauty laminating brow gel, which mama, <laughs> is every the day. only brow gel ever made, in yeah. my opinion. Clear See? brow gel ever made. Yeah. All right. And then the top five brow gels goes to number two is the elf brow and lash mascara. The dual ended. The dual ended. Amazing. <gasps> number three is the benefit 24 hour brow setter. Great. Yes. I uh, love that. The Anastasia Beverly Hills at number four, which yep. brow freeze gel. Okay. Uh, th- this was oh, I know. the oh, I know. brush. Yeah. I know what she is. <laughs> I know her. And number five, the brow glue from NYX. The, the um, brow glue, yeah. Yeah. Uh, four and five. <laughs> you could I take have, or leave. I have questions. Yeah. Um, and I'm happy that they work for you. I've yeah. used both. And I'll say that I've used both. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind the NYX that much. It's all right. Yeah, but and you know what? NYX just came yeah. out with another fucking glue. Glu- it's a blue. It's, it's like I bought the primer paint. and the the What the hell is it spray? called? The glue. The glue. Yeah, right. And it looks like Elmer's it's, glue or something. Yeah, and just the like primer and the how everything. many are we gonna come out with here? Like at this point, NYX is 75 brow products. I'm like, dial it down, girl. Like, because how starting, many primers do we need? You're getting contradictory. Like, we get it. Yeah. yeah. But I was so shocked with the dual ended man. Yeah, the dual love. ended one. Yeah, love that. Okay, then we're actually gonna move right along to the beautiful and bothered choice winner for our brow pencil because Allure didn't have a brow pencil, of Weird. course. The rare beauty brow harmony we love to see it amazing i have it in now and then the top five brow pencils were rare beauty number one number two the benefit precisely my brow pencil number three was the elf instant lift brow pencil which also was funny so many of you indicated not waterproof <laughs> that disgusting waterproof one they came out Chunky. with girl flaky and flaky <laughs> And then the <laughs> number four is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Okay. And number five is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And then I will say number like six, seventh, and eighth place were all different NYX ones. It was all like the, the powder one? pencil, the definer. Oh, the, which, that defining <laughs> one. You talk about Casey oh. doing this. He oh. was like, what are, he's like, NYX brows. He was like having, a, and I'm like trying to break down. I'm like, I kept giving him We're trying to break down while he's breaking down. <laughs> Literally, yeah. yeah. But NYX was like sixth through 10th place. Wow. But I was, Amazing. yeah, the, the elf. Well deserving. The elf made me happy and the NYX uh, micro. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right. And then we have the Allure Reader's Choice for eyeliner was the NYX <gasps> Epic Ink Liner. I agree. Yes. I'll take that. That's a good one. Yeah. The Beautiful and Bothered winner <laughs> was the <laughs> NYX Epic Ink Liner. Wow. And then the top five, this was fascinating. The NYX liner's number one. Number two is the Trixie Cosmetics Hotline Gel Liner. So I want to go out on a limb and say something to y'all. Because you know what's fascinating? Especially on the YouTube channel, our back-end analytics show us, like, we can see everything y'all do. <laughs> we can basically see, like, all the videos, like, the, the videos your audience watches the most, the channels they watch the most. Nine times out of ten, it's Robert Welsh and James. It's the three of us. Our, you guys watch them the most. So much so that even sometimes the Trixie channel or Trixie's videos won't always maybe be in our top competition, if you will. However, <laughs> I've complained many times on this channel that when Trixie launches something fun and I can't get my hands on it, I am now realizing it's because of you bitches. <laughs> because <laughs> you're all selling out. You, like, I didn't realize how much you guys are Trixie Cosmetics stands they're selling out that you didn't even get this did you did you manage to buy this before it sold out the gel liners yeah yeah oh okay but it sold out in five seconds it did it sure I know. did and it's and it's you guys are and the it ones. just came back in stock so it's <laughs> my point being is whenever trixie drops something it's us fighting you yeah <laughs> we're trying to get it. i'm totally. on the website struggle sweating in the bathroom at work That's saying I mean. i'll be right there <laughs> totally <I'm> like, <laughs> yeah so yeah. i was so surprised this is number two wow number three is the urban decay 24 7 glide on pencils mm -hmm. and then all of these liners were tied for four tied for fourth the one size point made eyeliner which i love the rare beauty perfect strokes eyeliner i love the victoria beckham satin kajal eyeliner that's a pencil love not well i, I don't love because i've never tried it but need to try that need that that's what made me uh want to give now oh yes and then <laughs> uh the sephora collection 12 hour Pencil eyeliners. Those are T. All tied for fourth. Wow. And that's you. I got to show you. I, well, I'll share you on the Google Doc. You got to go through these, bitch. I'm talking the eyeliners. Some of the stuff y'all use. Like, I was like, I don't know what this is and I want to try it. Or so many of you liked it, but it just didn't place in the top five that I was like the Victoria Beckham stuff. Girl. Wow. Y'all got, got me so excited to like really go through and try so much stuff. Then the Allure Reader's Choice winner is the Maybelline New York Last Sensation Sky High Mascara. The Beautiful and Bothered winner is the Maybelline Last Sensation Sky High Mascara. The top five. <gasps> Take it okay, away. Okay, so number two comes in right after the Maybelline is the L'Oreal Voluminous Panorama. Mm -hmm. Love y'all. T. Tower 28 makes Make Waves Mascara. Have you seen this? Yes. Have you tried it? Yes. Okay. Because I was intrigued by the brush. You didn't love it? Okay. It didn't work. It yeah. flaked on me. Flaky! Yeah, totally. <laughs> Number four. Interesting. Interesting. Number four is the Lancome Lash Doll Mascara. Again, another one that did not work for me. Yeah. And then number five is the Elf Lash and Roll Curling and Lifting. Yes. It was all right. So next up, the Reader's Choice Award for Highlighter is the Rare Beauty... <laughs> Beauty <laughs> is the rare beauty positive light liquid luminizer. No, it's not. <laughs> I disagree. No, it isn't, girl. Not that oil Oily. on the street <laughs> after when the rain comes down and, and washes, washes away. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking oil slick in the street is not my favorite highlighter. Girl, this Miss Rare is so. You can't tell me this ain't removing foundation left and right. This girl. is. Remove it's in the, the one size go off setting spray to remove. <laughs> it's my the makeup. one size rest in peace. Why he got the rid of that? I will never is know. My favorite. The they're, I think they're redoing it. <gasps> well, oh, oh. <laughs> where it's been two years. <laughs> like I know it. This is an oil cleanser mixed with glitter. Shuamora. <laughs> Shuamora. <Oil. laughs> so fresh, so clean. <laughs> <laughs> and like, <laughs> no, girl. There's no way this is collective. But you know what? No. Also. On top of, let's, shall I say, winners of this also being habit, psychologically, some of these winners are virality. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, where it spilled over from the main awards. Where like, and, and T, mm -hmm. that the readers, uh, the Allure Choice Awards, somebody commented that these all have to be submitted 
February of the same year. <sighs> so February 2024 for the Allure winners is already submitted for the whole year. To come out. However. There's new products on there that, that I think they. Uh, isn't that, that so shocking that apparently Allure hmm. works so slowly with such integrity that they need their reader's choice submitted nine months in advance, but somehow then work at the breakneck pace <laughs> to include in the main awards a product that came out the day the awards came out. <laughs> so it's how just, does that work? Oh, because <laughs> Miss L'Oreal cut them a fat check. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> and said, this is coming out at the end of the that year and put it in. Yeah. But, and I found this fascinating that I'm like, even if it is this choice is coming from a viral standpoint, I'm like, so if y'all eat, sleep, and breathe rare beauty that you're putting this as the highlighter winner, there is no way, like our audience, this isn't the winner. <laughs> if you use rare beauty highlighter, most of you are going to use the powder. So that's yeah. why I find the Allure one weird because the beautiful and bothered uh, listener choice award winner is the positive light silky touch powder highlighter, which 90% of y'all in said typed powder to make sure we knew it was powder. So not only did you what? not use the liquid, you made sure we didn't even assume you used the liquid. Yeah, like we know. We not get liquid, it. parentheses. Yeah. yeah. And then the top five. Oh my goodness. So at number two is the House Labs Bio Radiant Powder Highlighters. Agreed. Yes. Uh, love those. Love them. Number three is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting <sighs> Palette. Which that was Johnny's influence slipping through, mama. <laughs> yeah. I still have yet to use it. Disgusting, because uh, it was made for you, but anyway. <laughs> number four. Tie. Is a, wow. Four-way tie, tie. Is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. The Benefit Cookie Highlighter. She tea. eats. <laughs> she she eats, eats. For that dusty old benefit line of those fucking things. But this said. <sighs> this is the oh. only. The, <laughs> the only one you open, and it goes. Because it's yeah. that blinding. It's and a shooting beam of light. It's Hillary outside. Duff. Let the rain fall down <laughs> and touch my skin. Literally. Uh, Hindash gradient highlighters, which I need to try these. <sighs> Though you all, the fact that you little gals have run out and ordered this already before me, I am so <laughs> mad because I have been. Uh, Addy just posted another amazing creator on. Uh, he's so massively followed on Instagram posted a Instagram story of this, all three of them. And I was like, you fucker. And I was like, how are they? And he was like, stunning. And he bought another like Crave because he loves the Crave um, color, oh, the liquid contour. contour. <laughs> Hindash shit is so good. And these highlighters, which I have locked and ready to go for the purchase or pass episode we're doing, but I just haven't purchased this because all these allures have been taking up so much of my time. And this made me laugh and go like, you little bitches, while we're here sweating over a hot stove doing these allure episodes, you guys are running out and buying the makeup we haven't had time to buy or try because we've been doing the allure. And I'm like jealous that you guys have not only got this before and me. And it's your favorite. But it's already like on the list. Um, so that made me like so salivating to order this dun, 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 literally. that's what we should be for halloween girl just, just the mannequin, the shaking man with that wig yeah and then the fourth Mac extra dimension skin finish highlighters which are og favorites yes. i do love these i have a bunch of these i mean soft and gentle uh like the one so many of you show gold gl something gleam Interesting. yeah it's on those it's on the excel sheet Unless i forget i'm thinking of their other highlighters Mm. This I don't think this was the baked, the round oh, one. Oh, these are the is ones the, with the flat ones with the little lines in this it. This is the really blinding one. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, okay. Next up. Oh, no. We have. No, don't. The Allure mm -mm. Reader's Choice. Nope. Best. Nope. Eyeshadow. I'm going to leave. You are going to leave. If it's a black honey palette, I'm going to be out. I'm not going to look. What? <gasps> okay, that's almost worse. Can you believe we this? have the Urban Decay <laughs> Naked Three that came out in 2015? You all have to, and it's very evident you all are Alley fans. The fact that Ravi made it on the list for blush, we all know. You know, you know her. <laughs> Alley Glines is the sweetest living human being alive. Behind closed doors, guys, you have no idea. Even her, <laughs> when she did the Allure video, and she was like, "Um, I don't know, like." It was the most I've ever seen Allie be like, not this. It is hysterical for her to even be like, girl, no. Like, there are better eyeshadows than this. I was like, are you kidding me? Have it. Have it. Sister Act 2, back in the habit. 
This is disgusting. What is it you can't face? <laughs> like, girl, no. I'm going to go home. Shuffle into Sephora and rebuy my Hula Bronzer NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and... Talk about living in the past. These people Urban need to decay. go to therapy. <laughs> Urban Decay. Naked 3. Do y'all, do y'all need to go to therapy? You, what Who are we hurt doing? you? Literally. So then we have the Beautiful and Bothered Listener's Choice Award winner. <gasps> All right, Miss Natasha Denona, I need a nude palette. And she, uh, she ate. It was very, this was overwhelmingly. Okay. This um, specific palette. This specific palette was by far number one. And then wow. I'll say like two through ten were all really close, but the top five. Oh my goodness. So at number two. Oh my God. <laughs> we have the Patrick Tom Major Dimensions Volume 3, which is the all matte. Yep. The ColourPop Precious Metals, which <laughs> we already know why. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Yes. The Natasha Denona number four is the glam palette. Mm-hmm. And then number five, Natasha Denona, my dream. And let me tell you, number six, seven, and eight were also all Natasha Denona palettes. So we've this my really goodness. we are really Natasha Denona girlies here on this podcast. All right. I love so, that. And on that note, this purple one coming out. I'm so goons and goblins salivating. I, you know me in purple. I want this purple palette. Purple now. pink. Most, but it has to have it's. I don't love like you are pink, like hot pink. Well, because it's sickly when you put it on, and I l- <laughs> yeah. love it. I love purple, hence the branding of this podcast since yeah. we started it. Like the purple eyeshadow on me, I am the highest paid hooker. Like, yeah. so uh, Natasha Denona, which I have to say, uh-huh. I'm disappointed at the lack of purple mats in this palette there's one deep purple mat and then the other two are like gonna read gray mid pinky purple where i'm like i would have loved a lavender a mid-tone purple mat and a deep purple mat and then give me one pink mat transition yeah but it's the glitter pinks purples lavenders every d- try chrome the the one that's almost like a purple tri skin tech, tech. <laughs> cataract reducing the <laughs> it's a trichrome of like a your fucking tea it's that sunsetty orangey oh, yellow I know. pinky those swatches girl but you know what the swatches online always look tea and then when you get them in did store, you see natasha posted her doing the pink and purple down her arm going up to her shoulder yeah i saw <laughs> Around the nip. I'm gooning for that palette. I'm, I'm very, I want it now, but I, you know it's not a palette I want. <laughs> I want the new Blend Bunny, the Divination palette from Robert Welsh. Roberts? Guys, I need it. Congratulations to Robert Welsh. I By need the that. way, Robert, uh, all of y'all run to Blend Bunny and support Robert. That palette? That palette. <laughs> oh, I, you, I thank wanna... you for reminding me. Because you know what? When this podcast is over, showing you the data, <laughs> data, if you will, <laughs> ordering <laughs> Hindash, uh-huh. Robert's collection. It comes out the 18th. Motherfucker. What's today? Remind me. No, not yet. I think Oh, soon. Yeah. Okay, so we'll set an alarm for Robert's because I also want to buy the blush palettes we wanted from Blend Bunny. I got one of them. With the hot one? Yeah. And? Love. I know. It's great. Hot. <laughs> Mango blush. I know. Oh. <laughs> and then, okay. Oh, not that. <laughs> oh, my God. My eyes. <laughs> yeah. The Allure Reader's Choice lipstick is the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution. This is fucking pillow talk. Clearly pillow talk, yeah. Girl, Dry, <laughs> dry, dry. I don't some it, and for forty. Some of them drag. I know some of them drag, and then some of them. Don't you feel like Charlotte's lipsticks almost go on in this? Ver- they're very waxy. It's a waxy coating on my lip where I feel like it's not like sinking into my lip, and it feels like <laughs> like I always have that slip. Tin on. Man, <laughs> yeah, it has a a, yeah, a lube yeah. a lube like glide you put because water of the on wax it and it starts to speed built like because of the wax yeah, it starts in to, yeah you like know the what water I mean? just kind of sits on top and beads up yeah but and that Waterproof. doesn't you would think it would make it enhance the long wear that's not the case because no. it's actually ready to jump off your lips because it's not even like becoming one with them you know no. what i mean yeah it's you could so peel waxy. it off like a sticker yeah. yeah and then the beautiful and bothered winner is the maybelline 
Super Stay Vinyl Ink Liquid Lipsticks. I forget about these. I love these. I love these. Because the these. Revlons and the House Labs and the Urbans yes. and the boop, but that. I always forget about these, that uh-huh. these exist. I put this on. I put like wow. a deep, deep red one of these on on my stepmom for my stepbrother's wedding. And she was. That she sounds like a movie. My step, my step, doing my stepmother's makeup for my stepbrother's wedding. It sounds like a drag race challenge. My best squirrel friends. My best stepmother's stepson's wedding. Yeah. yeah. And I drag a, brunch you know, supreme. Kamala Harris. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. We have to vote. We a girl. Join Patreon. You'll know what we yeah, mean. Go yeah. watch the Harlequin video. Yeah. Kamala Harris. <laughs> <laughs> um, I put this on her for the wedding. She was like, texted me a, hey, uh, she texted me a photo of herself Witch! in the mirror. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the mirror the next day. And she's like, I've washed my face three times. Yeah. And it, this won't come off. And, but she says, she even admitted to me the next time. She's like, I will never wear another lipstick to an event. Cause I don't want to worry about it. Like, and it's, but it looks glossy. It's like, it's unbelievable. <laughs> and again, I probably should have like given her the prop. I should have given her like an oil cleanser. She probably, poor thing, probably didn't have what could remove this. So here I am condemning her to nine days of red lips. Yeah. And then the top five lipsticks. Uh, so number two, we have coming in with the Makeup by Mario, the Super <gasps> Satin Lipsticks. Uh, amazing. <sighs> Oh my god, and all tied for number three. First one is the Revy Beauty Effortless Lips. I know, girl. The new shades. The whole time. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> The three, Stop. this girl, Allie is right. I was like, three uh, shades. I'm like, oh, I had, I had dinner with Adrian. <laughs> Give me. <sighs> she, fuck you, because uh, yeah. my sister, Adrian, we went out to dinner. I told, I uh, looked, brought up, she was like, I need the, I need the, whatever you just said. The Revi Zinnia. She goes, I need the Zinnia shade from Allie. Like, goes, because she's, yeah. I, it's stunning. And then also, number three, <sighs> we have the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipsticks, which and- those are. Like tried and true, man. The black, those the are black the bullet. Old. Yes. I just recently, when Harmon's reopened, I like boot scooted <laughs> in there and bought a few. I bought cherries on ice or whatever. Yes. The, like the color that yeah. it's been around since 1912. Yes. <laughs> uh, went down the Titanic and then got it. One floated up top and said, Oh, what is that? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> yeah. Um, ooh. Oh, oh. <laughs> squeaky. <laughs> I scooted back. Love them. And yes. then also number three, the Revlon Color Say Satin Ink Lipsticks. Y'all are real ones. <laughs> satin. Not the, m- not the mess. Not the fucking. Not the flanking. Not the flanking. <laughs> Messy, <laughs> disgusting ones that Which, won the Allure Award. Matt. Can you believe that? The no. Satin Ink. Talk about innovation. Oh, Give me that. The Satin Inks. So good. And uh, one coat. Don't one get crazy. coat. Yeah, one coat. You. The, Ma- <laughs> the whole Halloween episode. You poor thing. I know, girl. Hell. The Maybelline, you can do more than one coat. Two max. But Revlon, one coat. One, one coat. coat. One coat. One I coat. Had, one I'm jacket. Not, I, one coat. And honestly, maybe you can do two coats. I'm not kidding you. I put on You eight, put on you, eight. You were in that bathroom. For 45 I, minutes. I'm sitting in the chairs ready. Ready to go. And uh-huh. I go, I'm like. Oh, let me go check on you. You were in there, Angelina Jolie, lipping yourself. Because when it comes to Halloween, when I you were, do not because you were around. Maleficent and you were trying to get that Angelina Jolie crisp, perfect red. I understand. Yes, and it's hard, and you, it's the shape of her lips. Twelve coats. I'm not kidding. And I, I don't think it dried down. It was a hundred coats of lipstick, <laughs> liquid lipstick, and I don't. Your lips were out to here. Blood mouth. With how many yes. coats on your teeth? The whole time. <laughs> you were the terrifier. <laughs> you were Art the Clown terrifier sawing somebody from the middle down. Absolutely. I was Maleficent if she ate Aurora. Like, I was scared. I've never seen it still. Okay, anyway, don't watch Sleeping Beauty, the animated movie. Watch Angelina Jolie. Okay. She is mother in both of those movies. It's unreal. You want kids? <laughs> yeah. I am mother. Mother. <laughs> Best allure. This is allure reader's choice. Best lip gloss. Gloss, Gloss, New Jersey, the Dior Lip Glow Oil, which isn't a gloss. <laughs> so who fucked up? Did Allure say submit the best lip gloss and readers don't know what that is and put oil? Or did readers submit the oil and Allure labeled it lip gloss? I don't think the readers were in charge. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Absolutely. I think Allure just wanted more Let's, Girl, let's push the reader's choice. Tr- this isn't a who, lip gloss. Where are readers submitting these? Where is this mysterious ballad? I would, li- <laughs> I would like to see it. Girl, because who's who's rigging the election over here? <laughs> you want to hear? I almost made Casey like fucking fall off the couch laughing. Sorting through. <laughs> 
400 responses per 19 categories. If you guys submitted the same thing, it had to be typed into Excel the exact same for the program, the formula to know it was the same thing. 400 times 19, (laughs) some people made typos. I looked at him and I was like, you wonder why the election's rigged? (laughs) Like... You think they're really counting those votes in swing states? Trying to count 400 submissions per 19 categories, our head was ready to explode. And I was like, you wonder why the American election is a shit show? Yeah. Uh, Mail-in ballot? And I will also say- Two forms of ballot counting? And I will also say- (gasps) Oh, oh, oh. And another reason the American election is a shit show is let's just say, despite how how clear you make the rules, people do not follow them. (laughs) For these rinky-dink 400 submission R thing- Miss state by state (laughs) election. (laughs) Miss- Rigor Miss, Morris. Miss Aunt Sam is no wonder it's a shit show. Auntie Samantha <laughs> doesn't want to recount your ballots. Auntie in Samantha Georgia. and Lady Liberty, who are yeah. fucking uh, your lesbian aunts, have had enough a tea. The beautiful and bothered winner for best lip gloss is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Universal Lip Luminizer. And the top five. Is uh, tied for a second. We have the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Gloss and the Maybelline Lifter Glosses, which mm-hmm. agree with both. And then tied for number three, the Give Dewy Plump Collagen Lip Gels mm. and the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Yummy Glosses. Yes. Wow. And I think Give has been on sale forever. No. Girl, I, I think the whole brand <laughs> is going. The whole brand. The whole, whole time. <laughs> why can't we have anything nice? Yeah. <laughs> this is why we whole, can't have nice things. Either they're repackaging or re- rebranding already, but it's like for such a they new brand. Not, girl. <laughs> no, nothing is like, girl, stagnant. I mean, it's like not looking good for Miss Gwen. Oh, God. Because you know what's another thing I realized I am shocked has not gotten more hype is the Give Mascara. I know. It eats. Guys, the Give Beauty Mascara the, in the checkered packaging, unbelievable. I found one at TJ Maxx. No. $4. Oh, God, there we go. That's the first sign. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a bad prognosis from the doctor. I found I it at TJ. Well, how oh, am I clearance. doing, doctor? <laughs> With a red sticker You have on it. TJ Maxx. <laughs> yeah. Totally, girl. You have TJ Maxinista. <laughs> Absolutely. You have Maxinista's disease. Yeah. <laughs> And then we're jumping right to uh, the Beautiful and Bothered Listener's Choice Award for the best setting spray because the Allure Reader's Choice did not have one. Okay. Good job, guys. <laughs> it is the <laughs> Until Dawn Mattifying Setting Spray from One Size. And your top five. So number two, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Air Brush Flawless Setting Spray. Number three is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Elf is number four for the Stay All Night. Which is the green. The green. And then number five is the Urban Decay All Nighter. Yes. So it's okay. Some of okay. we all make mistakes. <laughs> Everybody Which makes I, mistakes. When I, I thought it when I typed it. I was like, beautiful and bothered listeners. What, however many of you said, you guys are right with having that sweaty smell on your face. Miss Spitty Hands Miss over Spitty there? Miss Spitty BJ Hand face? Like... And she ain't cheap. You know what? It, it's not even well, like this she's is cheap. <laughs> yeah, she. <laughs> it's not even like this is cheap. You know what I mean? That like thirty three dollars for incentive. Like I'm like if you're gonna spend thirty eight dollars on a setting spray, I mean you listen, Charlotte are one size. Like one size. Pillows. <laughs> <Duck mat. laughs> yeah, girl. I just I have questions. That smell. That's stink stank and a stank. Stank. That's stank. It's, stinking, it's worse than stank. It's, it's stank. a stink, stank, stunk. Oh, Dr. Seuss. <laughs> and now we go. Oh. oh, God. Jump scare. <gasps> Give jump me a warning. Scare. We're moving on to skincare. I, okay, so this is the Reader's <laughs> Choice Allure Best Facial Cleanser is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I like her, Mama. She's a reliable old Dries work. me out. Even the normal to dry to skin. To dry? Out. Really? Okay. Yeah, it dries me out. Which, that's hard to do for you. <laughs> You're always wet. Wet. <laughs> wet. Wet, wet wig. Girl, <laughs> wet wig. Girl, wet and Gucci. Um, <laughs> yeah, so maybe, I don't know. That being said, I got the uh, combo to oily. But I just think she's like a reliable old workhorse, man. She's a reliable old dog. Like, no, I think I need to take her out back. <laughs> you need to old yell her that bitch. 
The Beautiful and Bothered Listener's Choice Award winner is the Glow Recipe Avocado Ceramide Moisture Barrier Cleanser. Ayo! And it was funny, too, when Casey was doing this, he was so tired after doing so many that he would be, like, overjoyed if more than half the submissions were one thing. And this, he was like, he's like, what's an avocado cleanser? And I'm like, Glow Recipe? And he's like, oh, my God. He's like, it's this whole thing. Like, it literally was, I'm not kidding, out of, like, 300 submissions the avocado cleanser was like 160 of, of them and then the rest was everything like it was some just blew everything out of the water and this wow. was one of them love that and then the top five okay so number two we have after glow recipe is the prequel cleanser <laughs> <laughs> All right, bitch. I spelled it wrong. <laughs> oh, I thought it was like a. I thought it was like a gel cleanser. You know what I, I might, You might be right because I don't know much about her. Can you Google this? <laughs> I hope. I hope that's no, because it's called a cleanser glycerin cleanser. And I'm almost positive I copied and pasted some that I wasn't that I didn't know about because I didn't want to spell it wrong. Okay, it's cleanser. It's okay. Prequel cleanser glycerin cleanser. Oh. That's enjoyable to say. <laughs> that really does. Yeah, girl. Prequel cleanser glycerin cleanser. Stink, stink, thunk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is. Dr. Seuss. I don't like it. I have, girl. I want to try this so and bad. And this is a face and body cleanser. Like it has benefits Ooh. for like acne shit on the body. Yeah, girl. Number mm. two. Why are you gatekeeping on us, guys? Come I on. love. And then number three, we have the LMS Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Yes, Love. Yes. Very and then, expensive, but worth I it. I know. You guys, some of y'all have, yeah. <laughs> Number four is the La Roche Posay, the uh, I know, girl. Toblerone. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. The Tolerine. And so, okay, okay, let's put a pause on number four. Number five is the CeraVe specifically. You guys specified the cream to foam hydrating facial cleanser not so okay. not the one that says uh, normal to dry it's mm. like a specific the cream to foam hydrating one so that was number five number four technically is made up of two it was like a dead split where like one of them might have been five and the other one might have been six but i wanted to like the fact that it was all la roche posay and some of y'all just wrote like la roche posay cleanser so it was hard for me to discern oh. so i kind of and the reason is that la roche posay tolorian tolorine and delorean <laughs> delorean the other cleanser is the lipicar the tolorian is for dry skin <laughs> and the lipicar is for oily skin you sound it's, like medications girl it's <laughs> were you on lipicar between 2023 and 2026 you're Literally. entitled to compensation girl so yeah. These are basically the sister cleansers, sisters, <laughs> but one is dry, one is oily. So I was like, I wanted okay. to basically combine sure. it into the dry and oily. And that's why the La Roche is uh, number four. And okay. then CeraVe is number five. Love it. Um, La Roche Posay, the, oh God, <laughs> not the Toblerone, the <laughs> yeah. face moisturizer. The La Roche Posay, Tolori, to, to, oh my God. Tolerine? <laughs> Tol, Tolerine. Double Repair Face Moisturizer is the Allure pick. And then the Beautiful and Bothered Listeners Award pick is the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Moisturizer. Okay. And then, yes. We also had the, wait, but we also, oh, that was, that the, was clean the Allure moisturizer. Clean winner. God. Yes. Okay, okay. This okay. is the, this is uh, the Beautiful Re Bothered okay. winner. Yeah. Mm, wonderful. And then the top five from Beautiful and Bothered. We have... The Glow Recipe, the Plum Plum Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizer. That's number two. Number three, we have the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. Whoa, wait a <laughs> second. The Cream for Face and Body. Okay. Yes. Which I would never do. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. I have to ask all y'all because this number three, there was a lot. Sorry. This is the CeraVe Moisture Cream. And then in face fine and cream, body. face and body, where it's basically you buy it in the tub. And I'm like, like my, my question ultra was like. Ultra repair <laughs> cream that I could use on my. I face, always, body, and anus. <laughs> I hey, was yeah. almost wondering. I'm but, like, oh, face. <laughs> I was almost wondering if, like, do you guys, did you guys moisture, like, when you read moisturizer, did a lot of you put this down as body? Or are y'all slabbing this from top to toe? Because that was my thing. I was like, <laughs> it really is very, like, all business to rub. I feel like just to put this from here to here kind of a thing. So, you know, 
is what it is. It works for okay. you. Yeah. And then number four is the Ola Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. Oh, I, this one's in the purple jar. Yeah. And I love her under makeup specifically for combo and oily skin. I had I lost it. I have no idea really? what it is. I know. I'm Girl, so bummed. it's thick. I'm surprised you like it, it during it's the day. It's because it has that weird, even though it comes out like thick. It, flaky. It has, you know what I mean? It has that like like a like a cleansing balm texture when it melts it melts <laughs> I know, it cracks as it you cracks pull it out. as you pull it yeah, but then when exactly you, oh, you <laughs> cracks as you pull it his cracks as you pull it because you keep you keep them be pulling it and that shit is rubbed raw and he's like it's cracking and you're like yeah you need a little survey on that <laughs> you want to fuck me <laughs> girl um Ooh. it melts in like a gel moisturizer so it's it's it, it wears like a gel, and I love her under uh, makeup. And then number five, well, we have the Cosrx Advanced Advanced Snail ninety two All in One Cream. Again, wanna try it? Yeah, I have wanted to try this because I like the snail mucin. Yes, so I do want to try the cream as well. And they have other products like in Cosrx that I've like now the peptide yeah. and yes. everything that I've come to love. I'm very and, curious about that, and I think they have a snail. 92 all-in-one cream gel mm. moisturizer. Like, And I think so they make a serum, too. So it's yeah. like they make the essence, they make the serum and the moisturizer. Yes. Love. I, I want to try it. And then we have eye cream. The reader's choice uh, for eye cream is the Tula <laughs> Skincare Glow, the cooling and brightening eye balm. It's a stick. Stick. It's not a cream. <laughs> or an eye cream. It's a balm. It's a, it's it's a stick. <laughs> the this milk is a blue stick. Elf. Cooling stick. This uh, girl. This is not an eye this cream. This is giving you one tenth of the skincare benefits as an eye cream. And you're dragging this oh. under your eyes? Depuffing. Oh, cooling. Please. Cooling. Cool stick. <laughs> I'll stick my head in the fridge for five yeah, minutes. You stick then, it. Yeah. yeah. And the beautiful and bothered winner goes to. Okay. Yeah, try Random. to true, girl. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Is the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm Eye Cream. Wow. Yes. Okay. And, and then, then the top five. So for number two, after the Belief, it's a Sunday Riley Autocorrect. Okay. And then the number three is the Bioma Depuffing and Brightening Eye Gel. Number four is the Sunday Riley Five Stars Retinol Eye Serum, which is now getting reformulated and getting taken off the market and then retouching. Great. Yeah. And number five is the Good Molecules, the... Uh, Yerba Mate, the wake up gel, which I've heard not good things about. Okay. But I'm, I've always been curious to try because it it's $6. Yeah. So let's try her out. Nice. But um, the Sunday Riley one really gets under my skin that they're reformulating five stars and why. She paid all those employees to write reviews of it. And now she's taking it away. <laughs> yeah. To reformulate it. So write the five star reviews. And now the five star is going to be a three star. Four and a half eye star. Cream. Yeah. Yeah. Three star. Sunday Riley, three stars eye cream. Could you imagine? <laughs> Literally. 3.2 3. star <laughs> eye cream. Totally. After incentivized oh, reviews are filtered off, out. Off! I was just <laughs> going to say that. My God. And then I think this might be the last category, girl. So for the... Oh, Jesus. Girl. Okay. Corny, tired, and played out. Let's talk about so it. So this is the Reader's Choice uh, Reader's Choice Award for the best serum. It goes to the Glow Recipe, the Watermelon Glow Nice and My Dew Drops, which is more of a makeup item to me because a serum... Michaela made everybody put this on as a Glowy Glow Sheena primer. And it... But of, that's... It's... Primer. primer. Out of every as a primer. glow recipe serum, this is the going to do the least for you. <laughs> I want to use the plum one. The, the plum serum. <laughs> the plum, the pomegranate, the avocado, the uh, blackberry, the, the any other glow recipe serum is more going to do more. This is this kind of corny. <laughs> kind of corny. <laughs> I want candy corn. If I was there. Oh, really? You like candy corn? Oh, I love. Nice. We got him for the Halloween episode. Oh. And then the beautiful and bothered listener's choice award winner goes to Pose. <laughs> oh, La La Land. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> Is the glow recipe the pomegranate peptide firming serum? Tell me how. <laughs> tell me how this didn't win a fucking allure award this year. I know, girl. Like between, they, I have to say the two most, two of the most impressive it's not, skincare wasn't products. Viral. I know it wasn't viral. Oh, God. Two of the most, because no influencer tries. No TikTok beauty influencer tries skincare products long enough to see any results from any actual ing- – Because it doesn't make them look like a glazed donut that Ariana like Grande is going to lick. For them to cover with full coverage foundation on top, yeah. by the way. That's the thing about the nice cinema dewdrops. That chaps my ass. Really? Because then you're putting 
fucking sand spackle on top. So yeah. lock it KVD <laughs> foundation. Girl. That's pink. So the fact yeah. like this year, this and the uh Beekman Milk RX moisturizer are two of the my most exciting pros- products because we got a serum and a moisturizer that managed to deliver retinol like results day or night without the risk of retinol, the effects of retinol, the UV sensitivity to retinol in this in a serum and the Beekman in the Milk RX moisturizer. And I'm like, okay, so here's two innovative products that like crickets because it's not, yeah, you know, but nice in my dew drops, <laughs> which winner. I love y'all. I don't think we maybe two out of 400 submissions were the nice in my dew drops from our audience. Wow. From our audience? <laughs> Because they got the heads on right. <laughs> so then after the glow recipe, the pomegranate, we have in number two is the Cozarex Snail Mucin, the mm-hmm. Essence. We have number three is the Caudalie Vino Perfect Brightening Serum. Then also the Cozarex, the Peptide Skin Booster Serum. <laughs> and then number five is the Clarins Double Serum. Tried and true. I know, girl. You guys take care. We, we always say skincare. <clears throat> like, I'd rather spend the money on the serum, girl. Hello. Because wow. that's the heavy lifting. And the, yeah, that peptide serum. Wow. Love, love, love. I know. This is great. Well, y'all, how fucking cool, right? To see everyone's wow. stuff. I like this. It was really cool. I know. This we. Is cool. I honestly, especially that we we always, for any um, newcomers, you guys have been saying during this, you want to see us do a, awards. We do the Beautiful and Bothered Mary Dugan Awards at the end of every year. Um, so we will have those. But I love... This is the first year we did this, and I love doing. We're gonna we can do this every year now, like a li- listener's choice awards compared to the reader's choice awards. Yeah. Just to to kind of make you guys even realize for yourselves collectively, <laughs> us as a community, you guys are better educated than people that work at Allure. <laughs> yeah, that you're somehow they're polling readers, which. You're not. Yes. Because if you were, you would be getting submissions that are not even close to your awards. No. Because even like brands that are hot and viral, like Tower 28 and whatever, that's not even an Allure Choice Award. So I'm like, where are you polling people if you are at all? Yeah. I think you're you're polling your friends and family. Absolutely. To say, what's in your makeup bag that I gave you six months ago? That's why, girl, because it's all the free, old, dusty shit that they give out to their family it's and friends the, at Allure. It's so. the bins of testers that we used to get at Sephora <laughs> totally. to replace on the gondola from NARS. Absolutely. That they give to their friends and family. I know. I know. Here's three colors. I hope it matches. Oh, my God. Yes. And that's the thing. It's like we can recommend everything to a blue in the face. But for you guys to either have discovered this stuff on your own, which is why you like us, or having tried it because of our recommendation and liked it, and continue to use it and like so on and so forth that you're submitting it as your top choice. Like you guys have more of a finger on the pulse yeah. than they do. And it was so cool to see both Ravi products, how much Trixie slayed, kimchi being the second setting powder. It was just so amazing. Yeah, like, and to even see for a majority of them that the reader's choice was nowhere in your top five picks. Absolutely. And I think that that speaks volumes that it's the Reader's Choice Awards have, I feel like, no weight when it comes to real consumerism. No. Because the people that are buying the NARS and people that are buying all these products that are so popular. And it's interesting, even for like the setting powder, it's Laura Mercier came nowhere near this list. One size came nowhere near this list. And that was the Allure winner this year. Yeah. A a, a five-year-old, six-year-old setting powder where all of one two three of these kind of were birthed in and around the same time two of them are older than that powder and better than that powder yeah and that's what we said last week so the fact that like you guys don't because we always say to you one size is okay it's nice if you you have this one very specific person it probably will be the best powder you use Mm. but for every other person that exists there's a better one. And Allure <laughs> Let's ha- would never admit that the Givenchy old formula, the original formula, was better than the new one. They would never say original formula is better because why? They can't make money off of it. Because Givenchy will never work with them again. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Yeah. So, so, and for like the wet and wild photo focus, guys, like I you guys just it. ate. You yeah. guys ate. And this was just, like we said, the top five in every category. You guys submitted so much stuff that like was so exciting to read and to makes me want to try so i'm gonna go out and like buy 
a bunch of new makeup. I know. That I don't need. Yeah, I'll, I'll share you on the documents. You can comb through. It was really cool. And make sure that you guys uh, follow Beautiful and Bothered on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube because I will be posting all of these um, graphics, all the number one winners, all of the top five slides, so you guys can go through if you want to like keep it and see what everybody else yeah. is using and it's super list. cool yeah. yeah shopping list thank you guys this was so fun the first ever beautiful and bothered listeners choice awards make sure to subscribe to the youtube channel for your video episode one day early comes out on sundays subscribe on apple Podcasts and spotify where the episode is available to stream on mondays pretty please go to patreon it will be the best six dollars you ever spend for the podcast here because um the buffoonery is off the chain yes my camera just shut off. Do you want to come sit over here and just do it with me? Let's... Well, everybody, my my camera uh, overheated. So where was I? Patreon. Go to Patreon. It's super fun. You can take it from here. <laughs> where were you? Um, Leave us a five star review on Apple Podcasts. Five Pod. star. <laughs> Sunday Riley. Sugar. sugar water. You sugar watered it. Five star. Totally. Yeah. But, yeah sure. <laughs> Leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, wherever you... <laughs> I don't even care. <laughs> I do care. Um, wherever you are, we hope you are happy, safe, and healthy. And remember... <laughs> you are beautiful. <laughs> Bye. Wake <Wanky! laughs> it!